Hello, everybody. Welcome. We are back, and we are starting Dragon Quest Two. We just finished the first one yesterday. If you missed it? Make sure you check that video out. It should be under the Dragon Quest playlist. Uh, we are starting a new playlist, Dragon Quest Two, obviously. So if you miss any of these videos, uh, just check back on that Dragon Quest Two playlist. All right. So we're starting Dragon Quest Two today. Uh, we'll be back on Monday uh, with Final Fantasy VIII, and we'll just continue to play Dragon Quest II on Wednesday and Thursday. All right. I have uh, played very little of this game. I played the first one. I played this, the third one. haven't finished the third one, but I played it a lot. Um but I haven't really played the second one all that much, so I really don't know much about it. Um, so we'll kind of, I guess, figure it out and enjoy it together. All right, so uh, we are going to encounter new enemies. We're going to encounter some new music. A little bit I've noticed. We're just gonna use my, my usual name here. Just to let you know, this is a continuation to the first one. So this is supposed to happen years uh, in uh, ahead of the first first game. Ages ago, a young descendant of the legendary warrior Roto defeated King Dragon and returned light to the world. The young man, together with his bride, left on a journey and built several new countries. These countries were ruled by the children of that young couple, and we were handed down to the following generation. A hundred years have passed since, the, since then. This is Moonbrook. It is a country far to the south west of lo lo whatever that was. <laughs> In the courtyard of the castle, the king and young princess are passing the time with a Peaceful talk. However, dum dum dum.
What? 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 What's going on? Isn't anyone there? Oh, sire, it is terrible. The forces of the evil priest Hargan have invaded our castle. Damn that Hargan. We cannot surrender. Summon the soldiers at once. Yes, right away. Now, Maria, you should hide in here. If anything should happen to me, do not grieve. But, Father. Now go quickly. I must inform the king of Laurasia of our situation. Come here, you demon. Take this, you bastard. Come here, you demons. Ah! No, father! I must go forth quickly and inform the king of Laracia of our situation. Good morning, I'm about three minutes behind. See you in 4.5 minutes or so. That's how math works, right? I guess. So the kingdom's called Laracia or something like that. Which, Lara was the name of the princess in the first game. Oh, you're wounded. What on earth happened? Forget about me. I must see the king right now. There are evil deeds that I must relay. We understand. Let us help you up. Everyone in the castle finds out there will be widespread panic. We will carry you quiet. King of Laracia, the soldiers of the evil priest Hargan attacked my castle Moonbrook. Just to let you know, uh, there's a, a, a spin-off of Dragon Quest called Dragon Quest Builders, which is like a Minecraft version of Dragon Quest. And uh, the second one, the bad guy is, is Hargan. So they kind of connected the stories, I guess. Hargan has called upon an evil god and intends to destroy the world. King, you must take action. Ugh. It's just about right. As that chat came through, I was one minute behind. Still at 2x, this may be closer to 4.75 from when I started. Prince Rufus, my son, did you hear his story? You are a descendant of the great warrior Roto. Now the time has come for you to test your strength. This is not the time to grieve. When you are prepared for your journey, then come and see me. Please give that brave soldier a proper burial. Right away. Soldier passed away. Prince Rufus, 
it looks like the time for you to leave has come. But even though it's for the people, it's sad to see you leave. I'm praying that you have a safe journey. Please be careful, Prince Ruth. You know, with uh, me being the prince, I should have a lot more money than that. I'm the prince. Where's my money? Come now, Rufus. Open that treasure chest. 50 gold! I get a wimpy sword and 50 gold, and I'm the prince. Now, Rufus, open that treasure and make preparations for your journey. In the Maltria and Moonbrook, there should be others who share the blood of Rotom. If you combine your power with these people, you can destroy the evil beings. Be careful. Don't hesitate to equip your weapons and armor. If you just hold them, they'll be useless. Pretty much. Walking west from this castle, you will come to the town of Riza? 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 I hear that travelers to Samaltria about there. So in this, you have to have keys to open doors. Same thing with this one. Oh, Prince Rufus, please don't go. It's hard for me to talk to you about such things. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Oh, never mind me. Please forget about me. Don't waste your time on the wishes of a woman not to your liking. May the benevolent gods be an ally of the benevolent people. Be sure to visit churches. For sure they will be of assistance on your journey. The person who enters the Traveler's Gate will instantly be transported to a far-off place. The gate here leads to an island somewhere. Hmm. I hear that there is a young prince in Samaltria and a beautiful princess in Moonbrook. Prince Rufus, for certain you should share a bond with these people. So, is this one still a solo adventure? Nope! It's a trio. <laughs> it just starts solo. I don't know if I should go in that gate or not. This is where the whole gate thing starts, I guess. Well, yeah, it starts me on an island, but I can't go nowhere. <laughs> A lot of old RPGs start solo, even most of the Final Fantasies, yeah. Well, if my memory is correct, this kind of goes to the old school setup of... You have the warrior who mo mostly focuses on melee. Then you have the mage that uses attack magic. And then you have... or black magic. Then you have the cleric that uses the healing magic. I talk to him? I think I talked to him. I'm gonna say I talked to him. Ah, cool. Basic introduction classes. Yes. All right. Uh, let's see here. I hit the wrong button. We're gonna need 90 gold. I'm a prince and I cannot even afford to buy a shield. Buy an antidote too. So you're gonna have a little bit more uh, items in this than you did in the prior one. The downside though is they don't stack like they did in the first one. So like in the first one, we had six medical herbs stacked in one spot. 
In this game, you'll have one, and then you'll have one right below the other, taking up space. So it's like you you limit you got to limit how many one carries amongst the three of you. I don't need to go to the end yet. I can talk to the dog. Bow wow wow wow. Hey, the chat widget just caught up. All right, so like any, you know, old school RPG, we first spend time fighting, leveling up, making some money to buy the shield. <laughs> but as you can see, my character has no magic. He's just a fighter. A knight, I guess you could say. I think to a degree, the music is a little bit softer than the first game. Sound effects are softer too, yeah. It's not quite as like festive. Huzzah, you know, kind of thing. <laughs> A little bit more peaceful. Well, we know we can kill the slime. It's gonna take more than one hit on the slugs. Two hits on the slugs. I got 10 experience points. Hey, we went up a level. Look at that. Wow, everything is going up a little bit. Hit points went up by nine. At least it wasn't one. How much money do I have? Need way more money than that. I need 34 more gold. You didn't need to visit the castle to level. Another vast improvement. Um... Ooh, I'm gonna die. Ooh, that was close. I think I went too far north. I don't have enough, uh... I fled. <laughs> oh, I'm dead. Wait, way too far north. Let's go to the end. <laughs> um, then you need to visit the cat. Not to level up, but just to... Uh, the, the king would tell me how much I needed to level up. Ultimately, Exodus had a similar talk to the king mechanic for leveling, as I recall. Yeah, I, I briefly remember that. Or vaguely remember that. Need to buy some more medical herbs. And I'm, I'm pretty sure you still do that. Let's go find him. Let's go see. You return safely. 
To reach the next level, you need 19 experience points. So I make a record. Well, then which scroll? Yes. All right, so he said 19. All right, so I got 13 experience points. I need 19 more to go up the level. We are level two. We're a little bit stronger. We're still getting our ass kicked by the dra Drakies. Drakies, or however you want to pronounce it. Probably Drakies. I like Dracula, Bat. Drake would be more dragon like. I'm thinking maybe at least level five before we move on. I usually try to like go in increments of five. They didn't see us, so I, that means I get an extra turn. I need more money. They're kind of stingy with the money. Oh, shit. Go with the ant first. Ant. Right, I got the ant. We defeated them. I had to use a medical herb. Hey, went up the level. Look at that. And gold. I don't have to use that on a, on a medical herb. <laughs> What's my max hit point? 40. got a lottery ticket. I wonder what we're going to do with that. Which also takes up uh, inventory space. As you can see. It gets a little bit better when you get your uh, teammates because you got somebody who has healing magic.
the technically speaking this is a little bit harder than the first one at the moment because in the first one you were solo the whole time and you had healing magic now we're solo and we don't have the option of healing magic That's a little bit better gold. Guess we can hang hang around right around in here, maybe. We can kill the ants with one hit. They do hit a little bit harder. Probably we can kill the Drakies in one hit if we go up another level, probably. need 10 more gold. Should be it. Let's go get our shield. Yes, please. All right, so now we got our shield. We got all the, the armor and weapons we can get. We still need to go up a couple levels. We're only at level three. I'm thinking we're going to go up a level here pretty soon. We use a medical herb. I can't afford to stay at the end. Go up here and fight a little bit. Well, we can kill the slugs now. With one hit. A good thing. quest or, or the will real uh whether or not we're 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 better off is how hard the uh drakies is only one that's a good thing that's a good thing we're probably about stronger to move on level four you know it's actually kind of sad I'm the prince of this castle and I have to pay to use the inn and I don't have my own room to sleep in it's just it's kind of sad where, where the hell is he sleeping All right, I believe we're supposed to go this way.
There's a tail. This is the town of Ririza. Ririza. Ririza? Maybe, maybe. Relax and heal your fatigue before settling out again. Setting out again. This is the vault where you can store gold and items. We can deposit a lottery ticket. I have to find out what exactly that does. All right, we can get a wing of the Chimera here. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Oh, we found a weapon store. I heard a rumor that the Prince of La, La Rosia set out to conquer Harkin. What? Are you that prince? Ah, uh, don't be ridiculous. You set out from this town and walk far to the north. You'll get to Smaltria. See where I want to go. Did you hear the news that Moonbrook Castle was attacked by Harkin? Really? You must be true, after all. What a tragedy. 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 The dead death. Let's see what you got. Weaker club. Copper sword we have. The sacred knife. The chain whip. The chain mail. We have the leather shield. We need the chain mail. Chain whip is the strongest. My younger brother is a soldier in Moonbrook Castle. Suddenly he arrived here and said he was leaving his son in my care. I haven't heard from him since then. Do you think that something bad has happened to Moonbrook Castle? Yes. You have anything in your drawers? A lottery ticket! Can't open the doors. We don't have the keys yet. Each step you take when you're poisoned will drain your health. But if you have an antidote herb, I hear that you can heal yourself. Don't disturb us. We're in the middle of a date. Guess what? If you travel west of this town, you'll come to a monolith through which you can travel to Moonbrook. My father is a soldier in Moonbrook. That's so amazing. May the benevolent gods be an ally to the people. How can the church help you? So, now we're at the, the point in Dragon Quest where the church does a little bit more than just talk. Uh, they can um, take care of you. If you're poisoned, they can detox you. Uh, if you're cursed, they can exercise you. And if your teammates are dead, they can revive you. Later on, in the other Dragon Quest games, that, that's how you'll save your game as well as in Look what you made me do. I peed all over my foot. Apparently, that's where the bathroom is. Alright, we got relatively decent hit points. We need a lot of money, though. So we're going to have to do some fighting. <laughs> we can go ahead and save it, though. There's a poison marsh swamp thing. And a monster will we fight in the desert. Ant. Another ant. They got a lot of ants. They have a wee bit of an ant problem.
That did the trick. Turn. Who? Hit him and killed him with one hit. That's a big bridge right there. I don't know if we should cross that. <laughs> Might be some big monsters over there. There's the next castle. If we go ahead and go here. Welcome to Smalltria. What do you have? Oh, he adds a holy water. Oh, oh, oh. oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no. Hit the wrong button. Now I got holy water. The other day, the southern sky could be seen burning bright red. Something have happened to Moonbrook? Uh, probably. This must be the dungeon. If you want to talk to prisoners? Please do so through the bars. Hey, kid, I'll tell you something good. Obtain the silver key. With that one key, you'll be able to open all the silver edge doors. The world will be destroyed soon anyways, but it still isn't right to steal. Oh well. Recently, someone named Hargan threw the world into chaos. However, when the descendants of Roto joined, joined together as one, the heathens will certainly be destroyed. The chamber of Prince Kane's younger sister. Mind your manners. You go in to see her. Where are you? Are you a friend of my older brother? Oh, I see. So you've come to sell me something? Well, then I'm not buying.
Ah, there you are, Prince Rufus. News of your journey has already reached us in this country. I hear that you're that there's a cave called the Spring of Bravery far to the north of Laracia Castle. Oh, it's you, Prince Rufus, so you have come. But now my son Cain ought to have traveled to the Spring of Bravery. Please find Cain and make him an ally. Rufus, to reach the next level, we need eight. Yes, please. Seek out my son. While Prince Kane is a little absent-minded sometimes, deep down he's a nice guy. Alright, let's tell the sister that we are a friend. See if she says anything different. Yes, let me tell you something really good. My brother's very easygoing. He couldn't have gone very far. He takes so many breaks in his journey. Also, he's lazy. I'm a traveling merchant. Allow me to show you my wares. Basically sells the same thing. Okay. Welcome to the Traveler's Inn. One night is eight gold. What magic the prince of this castle wields, however, he doesn't have great physical strength and can't wear heavy weapons or armor. Alright, so we can actually level up around here then. And get some more money. Hopefully. Hey, it's a rat. Well, we know we can kill the Drakey. Drakey. Drakey, Drakey. Kill an ant. Okay, we can kill the rat, too. Woohoo! Level 5. Oh, we got treasure. A medical herb. Look at that. Isn't that nice? Oh, we got a, a babble. He poisons you. All right, took him out. I don't have to worry about him no more. Oh, more treasure. An antidote. Another medical room. So we got three. A oimi slime. They eventually call it a um, healer, I think. He's a bit tougher. Fifteen experience points. That's good. Three rats. You dirty rats.
what we're going to do. Go up here. Stay the end. I forgot the uh, storage place is not in this town. <laughs> it's in the town south. save it. I want to see what the lottery tickets do. Give me just a second. Lottery is an optional little side game found in Dragon Warrior 2 or Dragon Quest 2. You will need a lottery ticket which can be received most easily from merchants if you buy more than one thing. They more often than not will give you a ticket. Some monsters will randomly drop tickets as well for you to get. Also, there are tickets found in treasure chests. Below is a list of the towns you can play the lottery in. The prizes you can win are... First prize, three sun symbols. You get a golden card, a wizard's ring, a wizard's wand, a dragon's bane, or a medical. It's just, you have to go to the casino, basically. It says, please play responsibly. All right, so the whole casino thing actually started in Dragon Quest II. Okay. I think that's the shrine that's supposed to take you to Moonbrook. We don't want to go there yet. Bridge. We got two babbles. Oh, we didn't kill it. Oh, 
Oh lord. That's the other thing. In, in the older Dragon Quest, when you have a group of monsters, you can't control which one you hit. It's just random. And the newer ones, they let you pick. Spectre. Up a level. Two hundred minimum. Uh, we might just skip this and go straight to the chain whip. Three thirty. Oh, he ran away. Nice experience points there. Twenty four.
We're getting there. We're at 300. I'll get the chain whip. I really need the copper sword. All right, now we need almost 400 armor. Save it here. Boom. All right. Now we need to get the armor and then we can move on. Oh, cowards. Now, in some of the newer Dragon Quest games, when you have a whip, you can hit all the enemies within a grip, within a group. Excuse me. So, like, there's two. In that group, I could hit both of them with one attack. Uh, if you have a boomerang, you can hit all the enemies on the screen. That's in the newer drag clip. Thank <laughs> you. 
I wonder what kind of enemies are on the other side of the bridge, what do you think? Is that the cave I'm supposed to go to? Didn't exactly tell you. And the enemies are in here. Let's find out. Let's go ahead and go through the cave. They don't seem too difficult. A little bit nicer not having to have a torch or a light spell. You're not bouncing around in the dark. I know there's treasure down here. way do we want to go up or down all right so there's some downstairs there Treasure for and a dote. Welcome to the spring of bravery. Soak your body in these water and seek the guidance of the great Roto. May Roto's protection be bestowed upon the hero. By the way, are you here looking for the Prince of Simultria? Yes. He did come here alone. The prince asked about a descendant of Roto that he might join. 
By now, he ought to be headed for La Rosia Castle. Hey, he healed us. So this is potentially a good place to level up. Let's see what's down here. Money, a little bit of money. All right, let's go back to those stairs and see what's down the stairs. You know that you can purify your body in the spring of bravery. Wonderful. Now let me pray for you well be. Okay. Alright, so we're kinda engaging in a wild goose chase here with the with the prince here. head back to the castle and uh, we should have enough money by then to get the next armor.
Hmm. What we'll do is we'll use a medical herb. I don't have to stay at the end. Got all the equipment we need for the moment. So apparently the wing of the chimera takes you to the most recent town or castle you've been. money for now. Actually do a little water. Get into less fun. time ago the prince of Samaltria came looking for you but you were at Samaltria and he knew that you would be returning here so what now I gotta go back to Samaltria Forests and monsters apparently, uh, uh, monsters are stronger than forests and mountains. All right, so I guess now we got to go back to Samaltria. This is kind of getting to be annoying. <laughs>
So help me if I gotta chase after that prince again. You're back. What's the matter? You still haven't met with, up with Prince Kane? He hasn't come back here. So he's not here. He's not at my castle. At this town down here. I'm Prince Kane of Samaltria. Oh, are you Prince Rufus of Laris Thea? I've been searching for you. Now then, let's join our power and fight together. Finally! Now ah, there's two of us. He's a paladin. Club and leather armor. Great. He's at level one, too. Okay, so he's the healer. So she must be the the mage. Then. How much money do I got? He can use a copper sword, sacred knife, chain whip, and chain mail, and a leather shield. some items here. Alright. Save it now that we got the prince with us. I guess they're all supposed to be cousins, technically. So now that there's two of us, battles should be a little bit quicker because you got more people hitting in one turn. He definitely needs a better weapon. How in the world is a prince going to be fighting with a club? Well, we got enough for a copper sword.
All right, let's go talk to the uh, sister and the king, see if they say anything different now that we've got Prince with us. Oh, brother, please take me with you. You're useless. What? Why do you have to be like that all the time? Oh, it's you, Kane. Welcome back. Rufus to reach the next level to 10. Kane, 14. Yes. Yes. All right. Now we need to level him up and get him better gear. We'll have to watch his hit points. You only use it twice. Oh, you learned fireball. So he's brought in some black magic as well.
He's catching up. Fight in the woods, see if anything tougher in the woods. Give me just a second, uh, replying to a text from my wife. We're gonna go in the cave. Cause we got the healing spring we can go to, so we can heal for free. Means we can hang around there as often as we want. Healed. Got more magic points now. Now we can attack the rat. He can use fireball on the ants. Oh, it only hit one. Oh, Lord. They made some changes in the newer ones because in the newer ones, fireball hits multiple enemies in a group.
First time we've had this one. King Cobra, huh? Almost to 300. What we're going to do is we're going to fight grind whatever you want to call uh, until we get to like six seven hundred and then we'll be able to buy him some stronger gear and he should be leveled up by then and we'll move on
they didn't see it. Always nice to get that extra turn. We oh, killed the ant. All right. Almost to 400. Scary rat. It was a chicken rat. That's a barbecue rat. We can make rat burgers. If you've ever watched the movie Demolition Man, the only restaurant that survived was Taco Bell, and it was not very appetizing from what you could see. So he uh, ends up down the sewers chasing after the bad guy, and they offered him some real-looking food. Come to find out he was eating a rat burger, because that was about the only meat that was available in the sewers. He ate it anyways. He was like, mm. <laughs> I guess when you're hungry. Oh, he's got antidote now. What have we got? Four fifty.
Get in there, slowly but surely. Another medical herb. I guess we can give it to our partner here. Share the wealth, right? All right, we're going to heal, and then we're going to head out of here and head back to town.
Getting a lot of medical herbs for monsters. All right, let's get him the chainmail armor. Boost his defense up pretty good. I'm gonna sell leather armor. Don't need that no more. All right. I don't know if the Sacred Knife has any kind of special ability or not, but the Chain Whip is slightly stronger. So we're going to get him the Chain Whip. He's already got the shield, armor, it's just the whip that we need next. Stay at the end. I my wing of the Camara. water I'm gonna go talk to the king Save it. All right, and I'll be back in a few minutes.
All right. I am back. Let's move on. We're going to go south to the town. We're going to put the lottery ticket in storage. I'm wondering, because there's multiple storage places, I wonder if they're, like, connected, or do I have to go back to this specific town to get my lottery tickets? to pain and when we get our third person we're going to distribute items to her gone to the monolith that is to the south of Larisea Castle. No. One of my friends is awaiting your arrival there. Please go and meet him. Please pass through after a short walk south. And you will come to the town of Moonpeta. He says I need to go to a monolith south of Larisea. Okay. Here, I'm going to go ahead and use that holy water. South of Larissea. And it wore off. And beat slimes. We are going. Hmm. Or south.
There it is. We have to walk around the flame. We can't talk to somebody through a flame. Ah, I've been waiting for you. Arrive for your arrival, Prince Rufus. Let me tell you something. There are two kinds of keys. A golden key and a silver key. And two types of doors to match. First, you should find the silver key. There is a rumor that says it's hidden inside the lake cave, which is west of Samaltra. So now we got to go back to Smaltria and travel west. Where will we end up? Smaltria. Look at that. Wasn't that good? Let's buy some more. And buy some holy water too. We'll just give it both the cane. All right, west. I wonder if that's across the big bridge. Because that west led us to the spring. So let's go this way across the big bridge. Wait a minute, that's east. I want to go west. I'm going in the wrong direction. This way is west. Wow, I took one step. How far west do I have to go? Cave to the west. That'd be the cave. West. We will save it. All right. I'm going to say that the, the keys, you only get one and... You don't have to worry about getting any more. You just keep the one. Ability seed. 
All right, let's have a look at our status in here. His agility is 24, and his agility is 21. And up by three, so now this is 24. I think they're tied now. Yep, they both got 24. Ah, oh, I've been poisoned. I thought he got the antidote spell. He does, but apparently can't use it in battle. this way here. We can conserve magic. So we got stairs. These are giant rats. That did the trick. We like terrific blows, don't we? Alright, Kane, you're going to use a medical herb on your deck. Probably should have stayed at the end before I came this direction. Damn lottery ticket. That's a dead end. All right. There's it is.
Cut of life. Max of points 58. 42. this way. Army ant. <coughs> think that's my key. And we don't have the outside spell. I gotta find out what doors we can open with the key. We can't use the wing of the Chimera in a cave because we'll bang our heads.
Ah, oh, right at the bottom of the stairs. Bang your heads. Why impose logic on Camaro? <laughs> it's the same thing if you cast the return spell. If you're in a cave, you'll bang your head. Which is why they have the outside spell. Lolly ho ants? Hmm. And we're out. Let's see. Alright, so we got a key. Now, it's a silver key, so does that mean we can open these silver jail cells? He won't turn. That's a no. What about this door up here? The key won't turn. So what doors does this silver key open? Because I haven't found... Those are the only two doors I've found so far. All right, we're going to go south. To the town. Put the lottery ticket in storage. I don't think there's any place here with silver. Oh, maybe that's it right there. That's it right there, okay. And we got the lottery. 
need to go get my lottery tickets. The music is vaguely familiar. Yeah, they've uh, they've reused they reused um, the music a lot in the Dragon Quest games. I did play Dragon Quest uh, Eleven on PlayStation Four. Did stream that a while back. Press the X button once to start the lottery machine, and then once again to stop it. Match three symbols and win yourself our grand prize, the gold card. Three star symbols will net you the second prize, a prayer ring. There are a couple of other prizes you can win as well, and let's play the lottery. Well, that didn't work out. Let me give you a lottery ticket as a consolation, please. Come again. Oh, now that was good. No, I didn't want to... Our fifth place prize of a medical herb. Really? How many lottery tickets do I have left? One. Yeah, it was a shitty prize, wasn't it? The other doors. I don't see any other doors. Alright. Let's go back to Larisea. I think there were some doors there we could open with it. Let's see. We can open these two. The 
bell amulet can protect you from the magic of monsters. However, there's a small chance that you can be put to sleep, and it doesn't matter if you seal their magic. I heard all about what happened to Moonbrook. The evil priest Harkin is a sinister power. I hear that he will put a curse on people who seek to destroy him. Please be careful. A lottery ticket, oh boy. Can't open that one. Can open this one now. Secret stairs. Prison. This is the jail. Oh, Prince, you shouldn't be down here. Give me just a second. Do you have a jailer key? No. What? Go and get one right now. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. So, uh, in this game, it looks like you have a silver key, you have a gold key, and a jailer's key. Eventually, uh, as the, the new ones come, the progression, they change it to the thief's key, the magic key, and the final key. I don't think there's any other doors I can open. Yeah, well, we can go ahead and save and whatnot. It's right behind me. Funny he said that. The prince was here, but he left. No, he's right behind me. That's nonsense. Thieves don't need keys. <laughs> well, I think the logic behind it was uh, thieves use the key so they don't have to pick locks. Or at least that particular kind of door. All right, let's talk to this guy again now that we got the key, see if he says anything different. We got the got the key. See, we can't even open this door. This must be the golden key. Oh, I've been waiting your arrival. Let me tell you something. There's two kinds of keys. Two types of doors match. First, you should find the silver key. Remember, blah, blah, blah. Out west of the... Oh, you already have attained the silver key. How wonderful. So, I'm so ashamed I should have known. I can't open this. All right, so really, I didn't need to come here at all. Except for that little bit of banter. I don't want to do that. Alright, I don't know if they got Wing of Maris here. I don't think they do. Nope! 
No, 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 no. We can use the holy water. Go play the lottery. Well, that sucked. That's got to be a glitch. That's got to be a glitch. How is the prince standing there if he's behind me? Do I have two of them now? No. Okay. All right. A little bit of a glitch. Head back to the shrine up here. Got the monolith that is to the south, yes. I have nothing to sell. We can't open this door because we don't have the gold key. Oh, it's another cave. Maybe we should uh, go left up here. What happened to his magic? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, hell no. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna have to reload the save. Let's have a look here. Leather shield, chain, chain mail, chain whip. Okay, so he's got all of his equipments.
What happened to his magic? I didn't really use it that much. I don't know. <laughs> I thought sure he had more magic than that. Alright guys, that's all the time I got for today, but thank y'all for coming. If you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed it, please give us the thumbs up. I'll be live again on Monday at 9 o'clock in the morning, Eastern Time. We play in Final Fantasy VIII Monday and Tuesday. We'll get back to Dragon Quest II on Wednesday and Thursday. Make sure you stop on by. Y'all have a great week and a good weekend. We'll see you next time.